everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is a second part of our apartment tour from last week and is an interview with Ria where I've asked her experience on living at Balimo this is Ria's story question I wanted to ask okay so how long have you lived here um I've lived on the island for a year and six months yeah well um in this flat for about five months okay and then where did you live before um before good luck hope slash london city island um during covid i actually struggled to find a home um because i was stuck in morocco like with what was happening that you couldn't get back into the country and things like that mm -hmm. so um i kind of lost the place i had in southern Devonshire, so little venice which is quite nice very central and then moved to the collective which is a kind of co-living space um it worked for me for a short term you can do a month three months six months quite flexible until i found an actual home so to me that was just a, an in-between space tell me like um i don't know much about collective but what kind of apartment is like a subscription or like what makes it collective like stand out Um, not like a normal apartment, is it? No, I guess because you're not even a tenant, you're more of a, a member as oh. such. I don't think they're allowed to say tenant because the rooms are extremely small. That is probably, it doesn't fall within the space you need to have to live, uh, to live exactly. Oh, so okay. it was more like, think of student yeah. halls, but for adults and for young professionals. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a really fun time actually, and I got to meet some great people live in there um, but again I do think that's a short-term solution and it's not somewhere where you could live for a very long time because the rooms are so small you do have all the other amenities again like you sauna like yourself or you're sharing with other people you share with everyone else oh like the kitchen toilet uh, yes so the toilet you don't share you've got your own uh, ensuite but we have a little kitchenette and then there is in each floor there is a main kitchen that mm. the whole floor then shares that as well and i guess living room is in um it's more of a massive space downstairs in the lobby so think more hotel it's a it's putting a hotel and a, a home kind of together mm. and creating this hybrid must space. be like expensive to it was i think at the time because of covid they did lower the prices so mm. to me it, it was okay mm. to pay that amount mm. um again for short term but if for long term it's quite a lot That's when a you lot. can get a bigger space in london mm. for that okay so now you live here in kelly town yep um <laughs> what made you move here um so whenever i was in between places i was at the collective a friend of mine lived on the island we keep calling it the island even though it's not really <laughs> it is an, an island, island. Like, when you look at the map yeah it's like a small island you have to like cross the bridge and there's like water around it yeah yeah, yeah that's island. true um it is linked you can drive here as well though i guess we call it the island because you do feel like we're part of a community and it's so different from the rest of canning town it's like this kind of land that they have just inserted in the middle um, and we have everything within it maybe that's why we call it that but uh, I came to visit a friend um, he was traveling so I got to stay in his flat for a month and I think once you experience it it is quite hard to leave so my plan was like, to find when I like when I first saw your stories like with your pool spa I was like where the hell is she like where is she living what kind of job does she have um, I want to do the same that's true a lot of people actually um and whenever I was looking for people to live with me in this flat um it was very hard to they, people didn't believe it because they'll see the photos and they'll see a pool and a, all these amenities that are included and um, yeah they just thought it wasn't real until they came and I gave them a tour of the space so it definitely sells it because then you think well I'm paying this amount and I get all these extra um, add-ons I guess then you want to it 
it makes you want to come all the way to Canning Town. Mm -hmm. um, I think for people that work in Canary Wharf, this is at their doorstep, so it's perfect. Um, for me, I work in Clerkenwell. It's still not too far, but I never thought I would come this far east. Mm. I guess, what's like the commute time to uh, To work, I think it's 45 minutes door to door. Okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too much. Yeah. And then you have like everything in your apartment. Yes, so sometimes it's hard to leave. Yeah, and I tend you to spend just... your weekend here. <laughs> yeah. But again, you said like it's the good excuse for you to bring friends over. That's true. Um, do you think having everything local or like in your apartment, is there like pros and cons or like you love it? Um, do you think it's a good thing that you have everything nearby? It is good to have everything nearby and yeah. also it feels like a bit of a, a haven or a sanctuary because if you work central London, it can get really busy. So it's nice to come here and it's not actually, even though you see all these buildings around you, when we go to the pool, places like that, it's still quite calm and it's not very packed. So yeah, I do like having everything well, within proximity with, yeah. and yeah. And I think I'm just, maybe preferring to be more home now and like hosting at my house and having dinners than going out so it makes sense for me to be a little bit further out. Yeah, yeah.